Hello and welcome to another episode where we are lucky enough to welcome some guests. They will follow us along for the next weeks to experience the highs and lows of an overland journey firsthand. insurance for the car and also we paid some road tax but that's it it was a bit difficult to get uh, and some dollars exchanged um, yeah the rates they were telling us were really bad um, but we made it and we are going now towards Chipata where we will actually take money out buy some groceries and maybe continue toward Lusaka today or tomorrow we'll see they have a bike plane. It's amazing. Guy okay, was uh, saying that he already sees a lot of difference um, here in Zambia compared to Malawi and even other countries. Uh, we have seen so Tanzania as well. Do you say? Zambia is definitely the most westerners uh, country in Africa that we have seen so far. Yeah. Like a lot of the people, what they're wearing and, and so on. Also the restaurant chains, how um, yeah, the supermarkets. It's it just gives you another feeling uh, than the rest of the countries. Another nice thing here in Zambia, there is green open space. Wait a second. Yay! I mean the fields still, but. a lot less people. We decided to camp rather sooner than later to plan for what was lying ahead. We are leaving, we want to get closer to Lusaka and then be prepared for the weekends because family is coming. To get to Lusaka we had a two day drive in front of us. It started smooth but all too soon and got quite rough. road is connecting Chipata with Lusaka and I would actually like to change the name so from Chipata to the camps where we were which is actually next to the Luangba River um, I will call it the great goat road because it's just full of goats and you need to be completely <laughs> paying attention to the road to don't kill several one of them and from the Luangba to Lusaka I will call it the great Hall Road, because 
because it's full of them and everybody suffers them, trucks us everybody. As soon as we entered the capital, we got officially welcomed by Samian police. So we just got stopped by the police because we were changing lanes just before the light and it just went crazy. And Kai is now talking to them in the back somewhere. And yeah, they said it's 900. Sammy and coaches. Yeah, no way. So what happened in the end? Um, I should got out of the car and he told me, yeah, like how much, uh, what do you offer me? How much do you give me? And I said, it's like, what do you mean? It's like, either you write me a ticket and then I get a receipt and I pay at the bank. Yeah. That's the only way I pay. Yeah. Or, um, I don't know. Uh, what do you mean? And then he said, yeah, but you need to pay here. And like writing a ticket is too too much work. So yeah, that's the only way I pay. And then he told me to come with him to the other women. They were talking for like 30 seconds. And he gave me my license back and said, you can go, but you will remember me. He said that? And I said, yeah, I will remember you. <laughs> we have another friend. Hello, how are you? You know the problem you've committed? What? You went there, tell him supposed to turn into. But there's no signs. And there's no, no, and there's no even lanes. There's no lanes. So this one was a bit different. Um, they said the patrol was going to come uh, to prepare a fine for us, and it was okay. It was just first offense or first offender. I don't know how busy you say it. Um, and he went away, he was doing his uh, traffic um, yeah, guidance and he came back and then said, oh, the patrol, is going, the patrol is going to come here, you go with him to the police station, say, okay, okay. And then, what are you doing here? I say, yeah, we just came from Germany here. I say, yeah, hey boss, how did you do that? That's not even possible. I said, There's uh, an yeah. ocean in between. Yeah, I said like, yeah, we just explained you how. And he was like, okay, okay, each country, next country, next country, both at, saying at the same time. And, and then Kai said, and you are the first one that stopped us and said that we are driving bad. And at that point, it was like, oh, that's a great trip. Um, continue your way. I already forgive you. I already forgive you. We are going to do a very long overdue engine oil change. We are going back to 5W30. Having oil change and groceries done, we went to a hostel in the city center to settle down for some days until my family arrived. They will travel with us around Zambia for the next two weeks. They opted for a rental car, which came with some surprises. We are sleeping in the car park. It's actually very convenient and actually pretty private because we are into just facing the fence there. Um, and we are very close to the main common areas, so that's great. Having guests always also means getting a new pack of spare parts and some treats. The place is really, really nice and there's a lot of people which means that it's actually working really great and it was, for us at least it was really, really good. Um, yeah, we are waiting for the car to arrive so we can drive to, to, or towards Sipata. Uh, it looks like the car that they were replacing the original car already also had a problem 
with the alternator they need to change the alternator uh, before they deliver to us and yeah it looks already that it's not there in time because it's already two so let's see it's already seven and the car is not here so we were talking to the rental company which is Sunday so we were talking actually to one person of the rental company and they just told us that the driver should have been here at one that they didn't know the driver was not here and that now she needs to sort it out with the driver that was already like three hours ago <laughs> and the last news is that they are packing everything in the car all equipment I guess the camping equipment and are coming our way so and by the way they're just one kilometer from here in the office so it should not take that long guess what the car arrived pretty late but it's there as the rental car arrived I gave it a quick check and guess what the Toyota broke before we could even test drive it it was draining the engine oil into the parking lot of the hostel a little later some drunk mechanics arrived to troubleshoot the car. The vacuum pump was leaking oil. We are still here, it's already midnight. Waiting for the parts, the seal. He also it's done with the day. They are back with a new part. The car was done at 2 a.m. One day late, after a short night, we started to pack to hit the road. So this is the car, Alan Cruiser Prado. Yesterday in the end they changed the vacuum pump, well they changed the seal of the vacuum pump. And it should be alright. There's a lot of camping gear inside, we need to make a bit of order. But... Yeah, happy that at least the car is running. Let me show you a bit. So we actually chose just a couple of things of the whole bunch of things that they offer us to take. Like three times this. So it's just a pan, French press, a big pot, a wine glass and a plate. Everything else we have in the car so I think it just takes too much space. Then there's a huge battery with some outputs, um, gas, some gas here as well, which is good. They actually gave us two, as in, eh, we just need one. The cooker and the 70 liter fridge, which is huge for our standards. And the problem was they just didn't open it when delivered and it was stinking like fish. So right now I cleaned everything and it should be better. Here in the back seats we have the pillows and the duvet for the tent and right now like just the bags uh, from them. Uh, most probably this will be fitting in the rooftop tent. So we will see and then there will, should be more space here. There's a water tank here, 50 liters. You can fill it here and there's a hose in the front nothing special yesterday they had to also change the panel and uh, check some of the connections they were loose that's why we could not see the um, light for engaging the differential lock but it's working um yeah you just have a gps a garden gps there and that's it we just gave them one of the new <laughs> walkie dockies we still prefer ours. We think this is a bit boring compared to us. Let's go! Let's try something new. Microphone from Daniels, our first sponsor of this trip. It's a very good friend. <laughs> he just said, I, like many other people that recordings in the car are terrible that you cannot understand us so 
he just sent us this microphone. We just left Lusaka and we are going towards Chipata. I don't think we will make it today. It's a lot of driving and it's the first time for them driving in Africa, driving on a rental car that is hand, uh, right hand uh, drive. And also I guess the first time they're going to go the roads in Africa, driving on the left on many, many potholes <laughs> and a lot of traffic. We headed back to Chipata where we entered Zambia a couple days earlier. First day in the rooftop tent, wild camping, would have been too easy, but the rental company had another surprise waiting for us. Sadly, the two or the four actually metal strings, or how you call them, the strings that are attached to the side so you don't get rain on the on the both doors, they are not there. We couldn't check it because the rooftop tent was closed and now we're just building some. <laughs> what do you think about this? I call it rustic. The views are incredible. The next day went by, covering lots of kilometers. The weather changed and we had to tackle quite a bit of rain, which made us a bit nervous about the road conditions in the national parks. Right before we made it into camp, there was one more highlight waiting for us. The mama. Ist das unscharf? Ja. 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 Mit dem Hingang? Oder? Nee, mit dem Hingang oder im Wasser? That's it for this week's episode. See you soon. Until then, enjoy the ride.